Hi, it's Paul from Hench Herbivore. Today with my good friend Luke. Hi there, nice to meet you. Luke's the owner at the Greengrocers at Earlham House on Earlham Road. And Gemma and myself are often popping on the way back from the gym to get all our, all our goodies. So, uh, yeah, do you want to say a little bit about what, what you do? Yeah, well we stock everything uh, organic and wherever possible locally produced. Um, everything from fresh green veg down to frozen, a uh, huge range of vegan products and if you can't find it on the shelf, we'll try our hardest to find it for you. Yeah, so today Gemma happened to mention, oh, you should do some sprouting kits to sprout your own seeds and beans and etc. The nutritionists increase exponentially once things germinate and Luke's pulled out this little uh, box, have you got it here? Okay. So it's a product that we can get hold of, it's a full sprouting kit. Everything in there that you need, so you can have have this sitting on your windowsill, sprouting, ready to go whenever you want it. All the nutrition you can wish for. So you heard it here, folks. If you need any vegan supplies, Green Grocers, Earlham House, Earlham Road. Let's go and have a look inside. Okay, so you can get the more processed products in here. Obviously, Gemma and myself don't typically eat these, but you've got some vegan uh, sauce rolls, noodles different beans, Bombay mix, raisins and etc. Normally they have a range of vegan and gluten free cakes and, and bakes but uh, the lady's off on holiday this week. Yes they've got a cafe as well, they do a vegan breakfast as well don't they? Yes they do indeed. Hmm. Okay so we've got all these cereal and fruit and nut and seed based bars and things. Beat it! No, I'm only joking. This stuff is uh, really good for pre-workout. Boost your uh, nitric oxide, open up your blood vessels and make you really fit and energetic. Okay, so there's all different kind of sweeteners you can use. Uh, molasses, maple syrup, obviously honey's not vegan. Uh, nut butters, so lots of coffees, lots of different herbal teas. Oh, we need some chamomile, or okay. camel smile as we call it. Fruit purees, uh, different chutneys and salsas and things you can add to your food. Bione is a nice brand, look. Like. Vegan mayonnaise, a bit fatty for my liking, but it's a good option for transitioning. It's good that all the products in this shop are organic as well, Gemma, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They've even got, um, you know, household products that don't have as many chemicals in. We like to use this brand, don't we? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look in the fridge. So you've got the Bija Bija. Hmm. These guys are from uh, just down the road at uh, Poringland. Poringland. Yeah. Uh, all vegan. These guys are all over the world now, like really uh, well known and delicious Lovely vegan ice foods. And these are... Oh yeah, new. these are new in. So these are mostly fruit uh, and coconut milk. There's a little sugar, but to be honest, they're pretty good. Very good alternative for your yeah. kids, you know, and, and just on a hot summer's day, you want kind of a, an ice cream lolly type thing. <laughs> Quite low in fat actually, although there's coconut milk. In and there. who's this handsome devil up here? Ah, <laughs> I'm quite famous. <laughs> okay, so what else have we got? Vegan burgers, so vegan sausages, burgers, pies. Edamame beans, really high in protein, an economical, cheap protein source. We get our berries from here. Stop going willy nilly, I want to do the pastas and pies. <laughs> okay, so these are all vegan. You know, again, we don't really eat much processed foods, but if you're transitioning, you just want to stop eating animals and eat plants, you know, that's your way forwards. Linda McCartney does some very good things. Some are vegetarian though, so watch out. Frozen veggies. Uh, corn products currently. Corn products are all uh, vegetarian, aren't they? Oh, they have egg in. Yeah. But there are a range of vegan ones coming out soon. So you've got tempeh, which is a vegan uh, protein source, although that's glutinous. Got some burritos, gluten free. Yeah, nice. yeah, all our berries, as Gemma said, and some broccoli. Lovely. Some nice uh, shampoos that don't have a lot of chemicals. Toothpaste that's uh, free from, what's it called, fluoride, which we often like to get. These are rather nice. You're rather nice. Some nice, uh, healthier drinks and organic juices. And then they've got like beers and stuff, which we don't have. Some raw 
Chocolates. Again, all the Bija Bija range. There's some nice stuff for babies, like children, children and babies as well. Some nice healthy options. Gemma sometimes eats some of these herself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then the faith in nature and um, stuff. Mm. You like that, don't you, Gemma? Yeah, I do, rather. Right? And this is a nice, quite a nice brand as well. So some Japanese things. Obviously you need a bit of seaweed in your diet for the iodine. Fermented uh, products are good for your health as well. There's some miso there. Okay, so some more healthy alternatives to your normal canned seed. Again, these are all organic. We quite like these uh, glass jar ones, don't we? Yeah, the pea soup is so tasty. Lots of different uh, sauces and things, some oriental kind of type of stuff, and fruits. Plenty of beans, so if you wonder where you get your protein from, you can get loads of different protein sources here. Mixing it up. Mixing it up. Coconut oils, we don't like to eat too much, but that's all there. Some good, good value cider vinegar. <laughs> If you want a big one, <laughs> 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 we sometimes get some gluten free pizza bases in here, don't we? They haven't got any today. Yeah. Or your nuts and seeds. Important to get lots of chia and flax seeds in for your omega 3s if you're vegan. We like some this, dried uh, yeah, dried fruit. Some nice cereals. They have some good flours as well, like gluten-free uh, gram flour, rice flour, etc. Some mixes. And they have some organic spices in here, which is quite nice. You can, you know, just get non-organic spices from typical supermarkets. These are all organic ones, so it's quite nice. These stock cubes are really good, they're really low in salt. Oh, let's get a few of those while we're here. Yeah. And your good old leech as well. Yeah, So that's kind of a cheese flavour alternative for vegans. Well, some good stuff for baking also. Xylitol is good for a low carb. Mm low calorie sweetener. They've got like coconut sugar, agave, etc. Oh, you said that right for one. I know. <laughs> I like the gluten-free pasta in here. They've got all different ones. So my favorite is the one that's got corn and brown rice. It's, the brown rice one's a bit tough in my opinion. So lots of different grains, plenty of different quinoa or different colors dried lentils. People say is a vegan diet expensive. How much is a bag of lentils? Yeah, so £2.10 how yeah. much it is. Yeah. Tons of protein. And there's some nice uh, soya products over here. These are really nice. If you find normal tofu really bland and boring, just buy a flavoured one. Unless you want to flavour it really yourself. Tasty, aren't they? There's some kind of burger alternatives for vegans. Different yeah. meat. Um, uh, vegan cheese as well. Vegan spreads, which I like to use in baking. And some nice yogurts. Oh yeah, they're really nice, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. Soya based. There's a coconut one as well, isn't there? Here it is. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. That's right, tasty. Really, that's lush. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not all the products are vegan in here. But there's a lot of choice for vegans. Mm. Loads of different vegan milks. Okay, so obviously we recommend fruits and veggies above anything else. Kind of 90% of your diet already should be that, I think, for optimal health. It's all here. A lot of it is organic. Mm. 
leafy greens. They make their own breads as well, don't they? And they just have like four ingredients. Uh, one of which is love. Yeah, <laughs> and they have um, a gluten-free one as well, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> hey, and squashes. <laughs> crackers. <laughs> you have crackers? Lots of vegan crackers. These chips are rather tasty. They're a bit naughty, but Very at least uh, they've got some good things in. Yeah. Oh, the apples smell good. And also, supplements. Lovely. So for a vegan, B12 is essential. D3, these are all vegan versions. That one's from Lichen. Uh, all your kind of superfoods, we grass, chlorella. Or down here, omega, vegan omega-3 mix. Uh, and all their superfoods. All good stuff. Mm. Lovely. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.